everyone, welcome to TNW Electronics. Today, I will be showing you how to set up and use the laptop hard disk drive enclosure by Insignia. So first, you will need to open your Insignia box. So, we're gonna open it. Now, as you can see here, none of my stuff are bags because I wanted to make sure everything was in good condition. So first, you will have a USB cord with this end on it and the USB 3.0 end. And so you'll have that. You also have hard drive enclosure. It should look something like this. You will have two manuals, one in English, and I think the other one's in Spanish. And so I'll have two of those. And then you will have a screwdriver. So, and you will also need hard drive. So first, you need to unscrew these two screws. So, let's unscrew them. There's one. Time to get working on the other one. So that's done. And then you need to take this off. Now, you need to plug in your hard drive. Now your hard drive may have an adapter up here. So like mine, it won't work with this. So I'll have to take this off. So you just wiggle it off little by little till you get a small crack and then you can bring it up and pop it off and then you can do whatever you need to do with this. And then this is the top and you take this, make sure it's in the top. You can see here, make sure it's facing up, how you would read it. And then you take these two and you plug them in. Now be very careful because if you mess this up, this will damage your hard drive. And you'll hear a click, and that means it's sturdy, and you slide it back in. And if it gets caught, just try and wiggle it around a little bit and go in and then now you need to replace the two screws so and then you just keep screwing these in until they're done and then you can see here your cable goes here and that's and then you use a USB 3.0 to plug into your computer preferably plug it into a USB 3.0 port on your computer because then it'll run at USB 3.0 speeds. If not, and you don't have a USB 3.0, just use it at USB 2.0. But it'll only run at USB 2.0 speeds. So, you plug this end into your hard drive. And so, let me take the little strap, the zip tie. And so I'm gonna stretch it out. So you take this end and you plug it in there. And so your, your setup for the hard drive is done. Now it's time to connect to the computer. So let me get my computer and then we will resume. So now that you have your computer up, what you need to do now is plug your USB 3.0 into a USB 3.0 port or 2.0, preferably 3.0. And then you need to go to your files. And to make sure that it's connected properly, you will need to go down to this PC. And then you should see your local, it should be called a local disk. On my computer it's called a local disk and it's labeled D because that's uh, what I plugged it in. So, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment.